everyone's talking about Tiger King. I want to talk about Tiger King. So, Joe Exotic. I understand why everyone wants to take his side and they all don't like Carol Baskin. It's because everyone on the show doesn't like Carol Baskin and you like everyone on the show. Because everyone, because Tiger people are colorful people. Um, but the real reason everyone hates Carol Baskin is because she wants to stop people from breeding tigers for petting and for profit. Um, but someone like me might actually have an opinion that breeding tigers in domestically is actually a very good thing because tigers are going extinct. So um, we don't think you should only rescue tigers. We think the tigers might actually be happy if they're rescued and getting to bang. So um, let the tigers bang. That's my opinion. But uh, do you want... But I think that everyone's opinion on the show that has a problem with Joe, uh, like PETA's problem, is the way the tigers are living. Because it's one thing to have a big space where the tiger is comfortable and the tiger can kind of roam, even if it's a, a cage, but it's a big ass cage. And it's another thing t for, for tigers to be in real cages and Joe is in a real cage. And so he probably understands uh, why you wouldn't want to have to live in a cage. Um, so uh, I, I completely understand everyone's agenda in being against Joe that's a PETA person. Um, all right, so, but Carol, Carol Baskin really wanted to ruin Joe, and I think that's probably why people don't like Carol Baskin. Um, but Joe also really wanted to make sure everyone thought that Carol Baskin murdered her husband, and so he was that crazy about it. Um, and he did harass her, that's for sure. Um, but she harassed him, but there's a difference in about the way that he harassed her. Um, so, um, it's one thing to use free speech. It's another thing to use free speech and harass at the same time. All right. Which brings me to Paris Hilton. Um, okay. You have two different super duper rich children. You have Paris Hilton who's like, I just want to save animals and love animals and spread love. And then you have like a Trump who might want to go kill an animal in Africa so they can take a picture with their dead animal and say, look, I killed it. It's like, wow. You have a gun. Do you, like, if there's anything that does not prove your manhood to me, it's killing uh, an endangered species. But I, I don't think he, that any of the, either of the Trumps killed an endangered species, but probably almost an endangered species. Uh, what's that? Is that, was that a jaguar? I don't know if that's an, if that's a fake picture or not. Um, I'm not really into big game hunting. I, I'm all about tar target shooting. Who almost bought a gun? I wanted to buy a rifle. Mom said no. Why do I want to buy a rifle? Because I'm worried about the meat supply as this virus makes it so that people can't go to work. Um, so I was like, well, I, I want to have a rifle in case I need to go kill a kill an elk. Make some jerky and or freeze it. Freeze the meat. Anyways, so I don't think there's anything wrong if, with killing an animal for meat and also for, like, to, to, because you want to have that skill. Um, but I do think if you're not going to eat it, I don't get it. Um, unless you're fishing to remove a, a type of fish, like that's that's a reason I would kill an animal, because there, there are types of fish that will mess up fishing, like they'll, because they'll they'll dominate a, a reef and you want to get rid of that type of fish. So it's one thing to get rid of types of fish that are so that you can have room for better types of fish. Um, so that's the reason I would kill a fish that I wouldn't eat. But generally, if you're going to kill an animal, um, you should probably kill it so you can eat it. Um, unless that is unless it's like ruining your livelihood like I mean in, in India they'd probably go hunt an animal that's like it's just like they killed a moose recently in Colorado because um, it, it attacked this woman they don't want to have aggressive animals um, but at the same time um, you can eat a moose anyways so Carol Baskin do I think she's a bad person I think she's dedicated her life to being a good person I don't really know what her husband was like so I don't I think she's like the only person on the show that's not a bad person um, but is she, I, I feel like Doc Annell is not exactly a bad person. Um, but you never know if Joe's telling the truth. Joe sure seems to want to like go, go from no, like he, he gets put in jail and suddenly wants to accuse this guy of killing cubs. Um, it sounds like that could be a rumor, but why would Doc Annell, regardless, why would, why, why would Doc Annell tell uh, tell him that he's he's doing it. Wouldn't Doc Anna want to keep that a secret? So I seriously doubt that Joe Exotic knows that that's true. And that's why the TV show kind of does allow slander. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion about the show. Um, I, 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 I would love to breed 
tigers and have a big space to do it. I couldn't do it in Colorado because I don't think it's their climate. I don't know exactly where it, I mean, maybe I could have a Siberian, maybe I could have Siberian tigers. I don't think they'd let me, but if I had a tiger sanctuary, I don't know. I feel like there are enough tigers in the United States because there are enough people like Joe trying to breed them. And that's the problem. Um, how, how many tigers do we really want to have in the United States? I don't know. So I don't know. 